New York cannabis stores are stocking their shelves with Mike Tyson branded edibles shaped like an ear with a bite mark, a reminder of the heavyweight rivalry between Iron Mike and Evander Holyfield. The 57-year-old Brooklyn native, who is planning a return fight against Jake Paul in July, is launching his trademark Tyson 2.0 Mike Bites, and he's planning a promotional blitz flash in stores next month, including an event in Times Square, a spokesperson told The Post. But the gummies have appeared at dispensaries from Strain Stars in Farmingdale, Housing Works in Greenwich Village, Grow Together in Brooklyn, Flintstone in Syracuse, and Stage One in Rensselaer. Growing up in Brooklyn, I could have never imagined a time when cannabis would be legally utilized to enhance both mental and physical well-being, Tyson said in a statement. Yet, here we are, witnessing the incredible progress. New York, we still have improvements to make in expanding access to this plant-based wellness. But together, I'm confident we will forge a new standard of excellence, prioritizing safety, quality, and taste to ensure unparalleled experiences. The former champion bit off Holyfield's ear when they were stopped during their WBA title fight on July 28, 1997, a move that disqualified him. Not everyone in the cannabis industry is concerned about Tyson's promotion of THC-containing products pointing to his criminal record that includes a 1992 conviction for raping a Miss Leather contestant, Black America, Desiree Washington in Indiana, and domestic violence charges. He was also briefly jailed for assaulting two motorists after a crash in Maryland. They're honoring this convicted rapist and wife beater as a role model. We should use much better role models, said Stu Zakam, a cannabis industry publicist. There are 90 licensed cannabis stores in the Empire State 39 of which are located across New York City's five boroughs. But city officials estimate there are as many as 2,000 illegal marijuana stores in the Big Apple.